hello people and welcome to a new video in this video we'll be going through the process of downloading and setting up the atom text editor for python programming you'll be needing your favorite browser and a stable internet connection for this as you're going to be downloading a few stuffs of the internet so first up go to atom.io the link will be in the description and click on this download button so that you uh, get this pop-up box and click on save file this will download the installer for atom I'm not going to do that because I have already downloaded uh, the Python uh, Atom installer. Then go to the download section of python.org. Again, the link will be in the description, which will take you to this page and click on download Python 3.8.2 and click on save file. Again, I'm not going to do that because I have already downloaded both these files. Then uh, you need to go to your downloads folder where you will be, uh, where you can see Atom setup and Python setup. So first up, click on the Python setup. I mean, I've already downloaded it, so it's not saying, it is saying me to upgrade now instead of install, but you guys will get uh, install now instead of upgrade now, and you will get two tick boxes down here. So please note, you need to tick both the boxes to uh, set your Python path to the computer. And once you click both these tick boxes, click on this install now, and your Python will be installed. Once you have installed your Python to the system, click on uh, uh, Atom Setup, which will, I mean, it won't show any pop-up box just uh, like the Python did, but it's gonna install Python in your background. After installing, it will show you a window and it'll say you that the Python text editor has been installed on your system and you can, you'll be able to see a icon on your desktop. So then you need to open Python and you'll have something like this going on. So close almost everything, but don't close this welcome guide page because you need to install two more packages to work in Python. So click on install package and open installer. So here you need to search for two packages. First one uh, is language hyphen Python. So this package will connect your uh, Python path to the text editor. So this is the particular package I was talking about that is language hyphen Python. This is by Atom. I mean, I have already downloaded it again. So I, I'll, I'll get settings and disable instead of install. So just click on that uh, install button and your installation will happen in the background. So once you have done that, uh, you will also require a terminal, which is, I guess I'm using Platformio IDE terminal, if I'm not wrong. So what this terminal does is it will give you a CMD-like uh, interface from where you can run your .py files, which I'll be showing uh, later on in this video. So this is the one, Platformio IDE terminal and uh, again click on install and it will install in the background so there are so many packages that atom provides you with so you can just click on it and uh, install it and if you want to know what uh, what a package does you can just click on it and go through its documentation and uh, you know you can actually see what it does usage terminal features and almost everything so once you have set up your uh, ide I would ask you to you know open any of the folders from your system or just create a new folder from here and, and to show you how to work with it just give any name i'm giving new and remember to give dot pi extension so new dot pi and hit enter oh it already exists so let me give some other name test one dot pi so this is uh, this will create a .py file from where you can code. So to actually show you that the Python runs now, I'll just type in a simple statement, which I mean, almost every developer does. That is, hello void. And hit control S, which actually saves your .py file. And remember that uh, when you download that platform, platform your ID terminal, you will get something of a plus sign here from where you can open your terminal. So 
once you open your terminal your path will be already set but if your path is not set just click on i mean uh, as you can see that my dot py file is inside website prototype files and here you can see the website prototype files so in order to run any dot py file you need to open your terminal click or type python python and then followed with your dot py file name that is test one dot py in my case and then hit enter you'll see hello world here so congratulations you have executed your first program in python and that's it for today's video guys thank you for watching if you have any suggestions on what i should be uploading next please let me know in the comment section below and if you have any errors in downloading or any of the files i'll also give in my instagram uh, instagram link down in the description below it's a public account so you can just dm me anytime i'll be there to help so thank you for watching stay in stay safe and keep your hands sanitized